So the first item that I sold was an amazing green superfood supplement here that is good for your daily greens and veggies. And this product sells really well. These have been selling very quick for me. And I found these at one of those $5 stores uh, looking through stuff, but don't worry, it is new and sealed. That's something you wanna make sure if you're selling groceries or supplements or vitamins, you always wanna make sure that they're sealed, they're good to go. Also wanna check the expiration date. This is good until May, 2021. So this is all set. So I paid five bucks for this. This sold for $25.99 after shipping and cost. I made $11 profit on this little unit right here. Let's see, the next item is actually the next three items is Just Dance 2017 for the Nintendo Switch. I actually bought, I think it was 127 copies of this game a couple months ago, and I paid, I think it was four bucks a piece. And they've taken a little while to sell, and at the time the profit wasn't the best on them, but Definitely when you get the opportunity to buy a bunch of wholesale stuff or if you find a video game that looks like a really good deal or really good seller and it's okay if you have to hold on to it for a couple weeks or a month or so because you know the, the kind of returns that I'm getting on these is well worth it. So just to give you an idea, these sold for $25.79 a piece and Amazon fees and I've got cost into it so I made $15 a piece on each one of these games. So almost a 400% return on each of the Just Dances. And I think these are pretty much gone. Most of them I sent into FBA and they sold really quick like that as well. But considering I can't send any into FBA, they're still selling Merchant Fulfilled and I'm pretty happy about that. So, you know, if you get the chance, if you look for video games, look for exercise games right now. People are at home, they're trying to lose weight or, you know, not gain any at, at least. And uh, exercise games are doing well, dance games, UFC, I think I've shown those in my other videos, yoga, all sorts of stuff like that. So definitely stuff to look into. And um, this doesn't happen every day, but you know, it's just one of those things when you come across it, you do your research, make sure it's worth it to buy it. And if you've got the money to sink into a bunch of games, I would definitely go for it because people always buy video games, whether it's you know, craziness going on with the pandemic or, you know, regular things go back to normal one day. Um, video games always sell well. So I'll put these back here. Let's see. The next game that I sold was Super Mario Odyssey. And this sold for 55 bucks. And this was actually in my death pile. In case you don't know what a death pile is, which I'm sure you do if you're watching this video, death pile is basically just a bunch of inventory you have sitting around that you don't have listed. I've been making a very conscious effort to clean and organize and list stuff from my death pile, and this was a game that I think I had kept from Black Friday, so I think I wanted to keep a copy for myself because I sold a bunch of copies, but uh, I'm just going to sell it because I don't have time to play it anyways right now. I'm too busy with cleaning and selling and keeping myself busy so plus there's other games that have come out lately that I really like to play so gonna let this one go so this one sold for 55 I believe I paid 30 for it back on Black Friday so I only made $13 profit and that's fine I mean it's pretty much been written off anyways because that was months ago but I listed this it sold like within an hour so Mario games always sell well Switch, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, 3DS, Nintendo 64 Wii games are selling really well right now. If you have a Wii or if you have anything in your death pile that needs to be listed, now is an excellent time to do that. So let's see, the next game was Zelda Breath of the Wild. This was another game that I had in my death pile that I intended to keep for myself. But I also have a copy of the Collector's Edition, which came in a big box, and that has a copy in it as well. So I don't need to keep this copy, so I sold this one. And this one sold for $69. Now I'm going to put the listing up here and you're, it's probably going to look like it's not $69. Well, what it was was the buyer paid extra for expedited shipping. So usually for video games, I'll do a listing plus, say, $4 or $5 for shipping. And then I'll give them an expedited option if they want to pay extra to get the game faster. So this person paid an additional $5 to get this game faster, where shipping wasn't that much more, so I made a few bucks on shipping as well. So 69 bucks, Amazon fees, shipping cost, and net profit of 
25 bucks for Zelda right here. Which is, I mean, that's still pretty good considering it cost me 30, but I think I made a few extra bucks because of the expedited shipping. So we'll get this shipped off and give somebody something to do here. Next game was Crash Team Racing. Another video game, sealed, brand new. I think I picked this up on clearance somewhere. This sold for $44.23. I believe I paid $10 for it, so I made $24 bucks profit on this. And Crash games always sell well. The um, Insane Trilogy HD, that's on PS4, that's, that sells well too. Go ahead to the next one here is, all right, <laughs> battery failure. So go ahead and pick this up. WWE 2K19, this sold for $69.99 and I paid $16. And this is a deluxe edition, so just make sure when you're listing games, you're listing them in the correct edition. And they're brand new or they're sealed, or if they're not, make sure you list them in the correct condition. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down. The next game was Nino Kuni 2, another PlayStation 4 game right here. This sold for $16.97, and I paid 4 bucks for it, so made about $7 profit on this. Not a huge profit, but, you know... It's uh, another video game, they sell, they sell well, they ship quick, and um, selling video games is definitely a, a great way to get started on you know, eBay or Amazon if you, if you uh, have access to it. So two more items. Next item was a Twisty Pets Miss, Uni Miss Unigloss Unicorn. And I've sold hundreds of Twisty Pets before. I've sold a lot of the older ones as well. Uh, if you want one to look out for, look for the Twisty Pets. That is a partnership with Jojo Siwa, and the Twisty Pet is a called a Bow Bow. And I was selling those up until last month, I think, for like forty to fifty bucks a piece. Um, those came out a couple years ago, but you can still find them in stores if you look for them. Those are a series one Twisty Pets. This one was a newer one because it has like a little bit of um, lip gloss in here, and this one was like five bucks at Walmart. This is another thing that was in my death pile. I listed it, now it's gone. My death pile is getting smaller, and I'm happy about that. These also will ship in a six by nine bubble mailer. So you don't have to worry about putting it into a box or anything like that. So Twisty Pets sell well. If you see them at Walmart, Target, different stores like that, just look them up. Sometimes the barcodes, you'll have to um, make sure that it's the right one because the barcodes, they don't always have the listing if you scan the barcode. Sometimes you have to type in the name on the Amazon seller app or if you use an eBay, you have to type in the name to actually find the correct listing. Also for ones like this that are, uni not unicorns, ones like this that are, um, lip balm there is an expiration date it's on the lower back part of the box so just make sure if you do find something like this and it has you know lip gloss or candy or something like that always make sure you check the dates because these have dates as well so the last item that i sold was a mini nike duffel bag which is kind of cool this is actually a lunch pail and i listed these yesterday and they've these have been selling pretty well uh, I sold one, I've sold these previously, and I picked this up when I was at a Ross. It was either a Ross or a TJ Maxx, but I think it's actually listed in the toys category, which is kind of funny, but uh, it's a cute little lunch bag. You know, I'm sure some little athlete's gonna like this. This sold for $27.99. It is only gonna cost four bucks to ship because it is under 16 ounces, so it'll ship first class, which is nice. And I believe I paid 10 bucks for it, so I made 9.79 profit on this guy right here. So overall, for all this stuff, just to kind of break down the numbers for you, all of these items right here sold for a total of $400, 402.50, including the shipping and the, the total cost. Uh, I'm sorry, the total listed price for all this stuff was 400. Total cost to me was 120 for all of these items right here. And the total profit to me was 183 set 26. So I made 180 bucks on just the 11 items right here. Easy to ship, small items are gonna get there quickly and the customer's gonna be happy with that. So return on investment ROI of 150%. So, you know, some items I did really well on, some items I didn't do so well on, but just because they're in my death pile and I'm happy to see them go. So that's gonna lead me into my tip for today. List everything that you can. I know things are tough right now and you know we're all stuck at home, 
But if you've got inventory just sitting around and you've got the time and the energy and the motivation and you can you know, spend time focusing on this, try and list everything that you can. Try to eliminate your death pile as much as possible because it's just inventory and it's just money that's just sitting there waiting. You know, and it's not gonna go anywhere if, if you don't list it. And there's more, I, I personally, I feel like there's more people online right now shopping than there usually is. I mean, this is kind of, you know, it's all about perspective. This could also be a great opportunity for you to get rid of that old stale inventory. If you don't want to sell stuff individually, make bigger lots of it and just get rid of it. Or, you know, put stuff on Facebook Marketplace and do contactless selling do porch pickup, or you can just give stuff away. But right now, I've found for me an excellent way to keep busy is to clean and list my death pile, and my house is looking better, my, my office is looking better, and I feel better about it when I walk in here. It, it makes me feel good. So, you know, try to, tr just try to do a couple items a day if you can. It, it would be better than nothing, because death piles are notorious for just sitting around, and somehow they multiply when we're not looking, so. You know, put some effort in that, and I hope you can knock yours out. I'm definitely making an effort on mine. So that's all I've got for you today. Uh, those 11 items, 400 bucks in sales. Let me know if you have any questions. If you enjoyed the video, you know, like, leave a comment, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it if you know if you subscribe. It's uh, it, it shows me that you enjoy the videos, and you know that you want me to make more of them, and. Um, I, I appreciate that. I appreciate the comments. I appreciate the messages. It's, you know, it, it's it's encouraging and it makes me want to make more of these. And I'm hoping that you get something out of it. I'm hoping that I can teach you something because I've been doing this for years and it's a great way to make extra money and it's really not that difficult. So anyways, that's all I've got for you today. My name is Justin, the Flipping Accountant, and thanks for watching and uh, we'll talk to you soon.